Well friends, I've had a relatively unproductive week. I went to the West Tech Conference and it was uh, quite a disappointment. <laughs> it was it was one-tenth the size of the Fabtech convention. Uh, they weren't giving out a lot of swag. I did get a couple of good pieces of information and some in inspiration there. The train trip there is really nice. It's 15 hours though, so if you uh, if you can't hang in a train for 15 hours, that's uh, it's not the ride for you. But uh, it, I told you last week I need to rebuild the uh, slot cutting milling machine because uh, I was never happy with the results of that. Um, before I left, I ordered all the pieces to do that rebuild and they came in. So I'm going to be getting on that in the coming week and that will be next week's video. Is uh, I'm hoping to finish it, but I will definitely at least get a part one out of the rebuild of the single purpose slot cutting milling machine. That's going to be next week's project. One thing that was really cool while I was there at uh, West Tech though was the company I deal with called IGUS. They make uh, what you call cable chain and what that is is a, a square conduit that rolls out and rolls back. I have it on my CNC router. So this company IGUS is really great to deal with. If you can specify all your cables, which they sell, all your connectors, which they also sell, and the cable chain, they can bundle it and thread the cables into the cable chain for you. And when you get it, all you got to do is lay it on the machine and plug in the cables. Um, and that was always really cool. I mean, I never used that service because I'm too cheap. But uh, I always thought it was very cool that they had that service available. Well, they have taken that thing one more step. And here, take a look. I'll show you. So this here is the IGUS booth. And uh, you're probably familiar with their E-Chain product, this uh, cable carrier. And uh, it's what I have on my CNC router. but. What uh, you may not know is they have recently started to sell all this other stuff. These linear bearings, these uh, drive gears, and uh, all that stuff is now available from them. So uh, if you want to build something, just add money, buy the right parts, put it all together. And they've also come up with these new uh, elbow joints for robotic applications. Come in various sizes. Pretty cool stuff. So now they've got this new line of linear slides and drives and ball screws and stepper motors and all that stuff. They don't have a controller system going yet, but they've got every mechanical part plus all the wiring for it. And one thing that is very cool about it is you can spec out the entire system, draft it in Fusion 360, test it because Fusion 360 has full capabilities for simulation. And if it works, just click the button and order all the parts. And when they come in, assemble it. And you got a working model. And uh, you know, that is very cool, especially if you have a client that doesn't care what it costs and just wants it. Uh, once you do the drafting, you can, have, you can have the thing in real life just a few days later. So I thought that was really cool. And there was some solvent company there that had these uh, 55 gallon drums that they made into uh, benches for the shop. And I'm gonna be making one of those for this shop. Um, I'm gonna put a twist on mine though because I'm gonna extend it out. Uh, you know how a 55 gallon drum has three segments to it. Um, I'm gonna cut one out and make mine four segments so two people could actually sit in it side by side. And that really cool barrel bench is going to be a really nice addition to the shop. And you can look forward to that being one of the projects here in the coming weeks. So that's all I really have for this week. Look forward to the slot cutting automatic milling machine next week. And hopefully I'll get the whole thing done in time for release on Sunday. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.